Over the last couple weeks, I've been working on a physical vapor deposition setup. These aren't exactly handy, but they have a lot of rather exciting applications that I just couldn't pass up. The thin films created can range from just a couple atoms thick to a few nanometers. The machines all vary, depending on the specific application. This one's going to be based around the one that Ben Krasnow built. For now, it will just be thermal deposition, but I have a lot of other stuff planned for the chamber. It has to achieve a pretty high vacuum. Let's get this going. I started by buying a massive chunk of aluminum, 18 by 18 by 1 inch thick. Then I started drilling a bunch of holes in it. A 4 inch one for the diffusion pump and a 1 inch one for a gauge. I had to use a hole saw in my dopey little drill press, which worked out alright, but I would like to have done it differently. I blind drilled and tapped 6 15 16 holes for the diffusion pump and 6 more small ones for a KF40 bulkhead. After that I drilled 2 7 16 holes for low voltage feed throughs. Then 2 more quarter by 18 holes, one blind, one for air input. Then another KF40 bulkhead setup with a 2 inch hole. I got a bunch of high vacuum parts, including KF25 bellows and a couple valves. An Alcatel penning gauge and a Varian thermocouple gauge. I also got a huge bell jar, which was super thick, but wasn't even clear. I also had to cut a tube out of the middle with a diamond wheel. The top was super bumpy too, so I can't even use a cap. I bought the diffusion pump a few months ago. It had an integrated valve and baffle. I fixed a dent that was in the cooling line, and TIG welded some KF25s on at weird angles. I built a wooden table with a hole in it, then started putting threaded rods into place and added the bulkheads. I put the penning gauge in one and a blank cap in the other. Then I mounted the diffusion pump with some solder for a gasket. This will crush and form a non-outgassy high vacuum seal. I put a cheap little needle valve on. It had NPT threads, so I'll likely replace it. I went over to my buddy's house and laid some copper parts for low voltage feed throughs. I put all the KF valves on. These let me pump the chamber down when the diffusion pump is still hot. The Edwards number no. 5 pump is fantastic. I hooked it up with a stainless hose. I did a few pump downs and even made some solid nitrogen. It got down to 60 negative 6 millibar with big rubber gaskets and no baking. I rewound a small MOT and now it does 2.2 volts and over 800 amps. You use this to heat up the boat, boiling the metal in the dimple, which then collects on whatever you want. I did a quick copper deposition on a quarter. The black residue just wiped off the glass. Time to use the big bell jar. I bent up some aluminum shields and hung a chunk of broken glass above. Then put the giant bell jar on with an 18 inch O-ring and pumped it down. It got down to 4E negative 5 with a dopey piece of rubber and a grinding wheel as a top plug. I used a magnet and some aluminum as a shutter. Using a small variac, I boiled the copper for about a minute. It looks like we're getting darkness actually. We probably got a pretty thick layer on there now. Then closed my valves and opened it up. It was nice and shiny and fairly conductive. I also did a thin layer on a lens and it was pretty cool. But the deposits were super dirty as all I did was wipe them with acetone. A sonic or plasma cleaning setup would be better. It wipes off really easily too so a protective polyamide layer or something else would be really nice. That's about as far as I got. I have a bunch more stuff planned. Just look at all the extra space. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Now that I have the thing, I can start using it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want.